Good morning all. My name is Poonam Swapnil Zadho, working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS, IOIT Pune. Today we are going to see named entity recognition under the natural language processing course. Named entity recognition, NER, is a natural language processing NLP task that involves identifying and classifying named identities in text. Named identities are specific words or phrases that represent named people, organizations, locations, dates, quantities or other entities with specific names. NER is the process of finding and categorizing important named entities in text such as people's names, company names, geographical locations and more. The output of a named entity recognition system typically includes the recognized named entities and their associated categories. For example, Input is Apple Inn is a planning to open a new store in New York City next month. So NER output is named entity is Apple Inn, category is organization, New York City, the category is location, next month, the category is date. Building a named entity recognition NER system typically involves the steps like data collection. The first step is to collect a labeled data set that contains text examples annotated with named entities and their corresponding categories. This data set serves as the training data for NER system. Data pre-processing. The collected data needs to be pre-processed to ensure consistency and quality. This involves tasks like text cleaning, removing irrelevant information and normalizing the data. Annotation. Annotors manually label the named entities in the data set and assign them to appropriate categories. This annotation process requires domain knowledge and guidelines to ensure consistent labeling. Feature extraction. From the unnoted data set, relevant features are extracted to represent the words or tokens in the text. These features can include part of speech tags, word embeddings, context information or linguistic features. Model selection. Choosing an appropriate machine learning or deep learning model for the NER. The popular choices are like conditional random fields, CRF, recurrent neural network, RNN, and most recently, transformer-based models like BERT, bidirectional encoder, representation from transformers. Training. The selected model is trained using the label dataset. During training, the model learns the patterns and the relationship between words and their corresponding named entity labels. The training process involves optimizing model parameters based on specified loss function. Model evaluation. The trained model is evaluated using a separate evaluation data set that contains labeled examples not seen during training. Evaluation metrics such as precision, recall, F1 score are used to assess the model's performance in correctly identifying and classifying the named entities. Evaluating the NER system. Evaluating a named entity recognition system involves assessing its performance and effectiveness in correctly identifying and classifying named entities in text. Here are some common evaluation metrics 
and techniques used for NER systems. Precision, recall and F1 score. These metrics are commonly used to measure the performance of NER system. Precision calculates the proportion of correctly predicted, predicted named entities out of all predicted entities. Recall calculates the proportion of correctly predicted named entities out of the actual entities in the data set. The F1 score is the harmonic mean of precision and recall, providing a single value that combines both the metrics. Cross-validation. Cross-validation is a technique used to evaluate the performance of a model by splitting the data into multiple folds or partitions. The model is trained on subset of data evaluated on remaining fold. This process is repeated multiple times and the evaluation results are averaged to get the overall performance estimate. I hope you all have understood the NER. Thank you.